Northwest Trains and this is my first unboxing video of 2021 and it's this lovely uh, Fairburn tank from Backman and uh, he's always uh, been a particular favourite steam loco of mine because the most commonly visited railway that I've been to Heritage Railway is the Lakeside and Haverthwaite Railway which is where this loco is uh, based um, let's go for a quick little uh, history of it so this one's number 42085 and uh, it was built in 1951 in Brighton and it was retired in 1967 and uh, it's only one of two that survived both at the Lakeside and Haverthwaite Railway in Cumbria. Uh, there was 277 built I think from what I've read so a bit of a shame only two survived but um, at least there's a couple left so uh, if you ever want to see one of these in real life get yourselves down to the lakeside and have a fight railway uh, one's currently under restoration at the moment which is this one um, but there is another one operational I think it mainly runs in the summer season to be honest when the railway lines at its busiest so um, just take it out of the box we get the usual stuff um, I think I did point out on the unbox me poll video that uh, I did get this logo from Olivia's Trains because I wanted to have all the extras fitted on it. So uh, it comes with this little piece of paper here. So this logo is basically fitted with lights. It's fitted with sound, cab light, smoke, um, and uh, uh, headlights as well. I didn't mention that. So um, yeah, it's had the full works done this logo. So. Uh, only because it's one of me, like I say, one of my favourites. I mean, my goal one day is to get the two of them together, the two surviving locos. So I think the other one was um, 42073. So hopefully I'll have the two of them one day so I can do a double header. Um, I keep looking out, hoping that they'll do it one day in the lakeside and have a fight really, but I think they pity I've done in the past, but not for a long time. So. Before we go too far ahead, just check this. So we basically got one piece of paper there, Backman Collectors Club. Uh, I'd say it's worth joining. You get a wagon, um, whichever scale you're in, engage or double O. So this is your customer guarantee, 12 month warranty. Anything goes wrong, send it back to Backman, which I doubt with all the extras I've had fitted to this, it still qualify for the warranty, but um, for anyone in general. And there uh, we've got the spec sheet for the loco. And then um, this model did actually come ready DC fitted. If it weren't having all the extras done to it. We've got a little bag of accessories here. So we've got a blank and chip and a few bits of detail. Um, and we also have our spare coupler for the front. Can we take her out now? And uh, if you've seen my last running video, the New Year's running session, you know I've already had this loco out of the box, so there will be uh, smoke oil stains on it. I've tried to clean it up again, but yeah, isn't that stunning? It's even got underneath there DCC on board, so he's not supposed to see that. But yeah, I just think these are lovely locos in real life as well. Big chunky mainline looking locos, just without the tender. So it is our rear. Uh, we got sprung buffers. Just take a look underneath. So it's a 264 configuration. And it's quite a weighty model as well, it does pull quite a bit. So and we can see the two working headlights at the front here. We'll show them in the running video. And obviously, our uh, sewer smoke unit in the top there, you can just about see. But yeah, I think it's a lovely model, very nicely detailed. 
you've got all the all the piping here um the speaker you can just you might just about see it's just inside the cab there but it's not not obvious you can't really see much into the cab anyway there's no internal detail to this loco but it is quite obscure anyway so it doesn't really matter coal old's quite nice um so yeah i think it's all around i think this model's been around for a while but it is a very nice model from Bachman, and uh, we'll get it on the line and we'll see how she runs. So um, let's uh, see how she does. <laughs> Right, we have our lovely Fairbairn on the line now, so I'm just going to start her up. Right, so that's number one. Um, you just want a quick look at uh, the sound effects that I've got, just so you know. I know it's a bit scribbly. Um, but because my gauge master controller only shows the accessories up to 12 I needed the smoke to be less than 12 so they've uh, changed it to 6 for me because otherwise I didn't know whether it would be on or off and I didn't want to damage the uh, generator uh, before we do anything else I'm just going to add a little bit of uh, smoke fluid just a uh, couple of drops So now we're going to try the whistle, and number three again, the whistle, number four, we have our cab light, and number five, we have coal shoveling, as well as our firebox flicker, um, number seven, dispatch whistle. So we have another number of other things, We've got water fill, 12. Number 11, flying squeal, but I'll include that in part of the running session. So, um... Just turn the sound off there by accident. We'll uh, see if we can get her running. So uh, I'll give her a quick run around the main line, and uh, we'll test her on the uh, Hornby Express points like I normally do, and uh, we'll give her a run on the Heritage line, pulling her um, crimson cream coaches. So there goes the smoke. That looks pretty good, doesn't it? Um, so I like, basically want to recreate the train of the lakeside and have a freight railway. So uh, let's see how she goes. run around the layout now so we're just going to do the uh, express point test on the uh, the big dead spot so we'll see how she gets on uh, push out a little bit there Not too bad, the sound just cut out a little bit. 
the local itself seem to do all right. Let's try her again. This is just speed step two now. Cuthouse. That's not great for the size of the loco, really. But those points are horrendous, and you can see the size of the plastic on them. You know, it's well over half an inch long. So, not too worried because they're only on the main line. This loco is only ever going to go on the heritage line. But uh, just prove a point in case anyone's interested. Like I say, and um, we're going to do a running session now on the heritage line. Right, that concludes today's um, unboxing video hope you enjoyed it uh, I'm really happy with the loco it's definitely one of my favorite steam engines so um, next time it'll probably be either the class 158 from Bachman or um, the class 350 um, or depending on how soon I get them done maybe even the new Hornby four-wheel coaches but 
we'll wait and see so um thanks again for watching and keep an eye out for the next video